Good afternoon, Steady Trade Treats fans. Uh, Bryce Sui back at you with your Monday's edition of Steady Trade Treats to help get your day and week started right. So today, you know, we're gonna be talking about basically just market news. Um, I'm still not seeing a whole lot of momentum out there in the penny stock market. Nothing too crazy to go running home about. Um, but with that being said, the S&P 500, the SPY is gapping up on news of talking about a COVID relief bill or well the stimulus package whatever it is to me it's just crazy right like how long the people have waited for this and what was it last time they're gonna get like 600 bucks and I mean honestly even if you give them the 1200 um or really even 2000 like it's been a year roughly almost not quite a full year but it's been months since the real stimulus bill. I don't see how you're really gonna make up that time. People have been waiting for this since like October. It's gonna be really difficult, in my opinion, to please the American people with whatever bill they propose, um, whatever they give, whatever kind of stimulus they give. Sure, will it be nice extra money? Yes, do people need it? Yes. However, again, it just comes back to the fact that like, people needed this for a lot longer than what they're going to get and they're probably not gonna get more out of it. Now, does this actually mean anything, uh, you know, with the market gapping up? I think we're up about a 1%, 1%. Uh, I think we closed a little over 379 And actually, we might be up close to 2% pre-market. This, this is one of those rumor things, right? You always hear people say, buy the rumor, sell the news. Um, people are buying the rumor right now. There is no guarantee that any stimulus talk is going to get approved. And there's no guarantee that anything's even going to happen with it. It might not be good. It might be great. Who knows? Um, it, to me, it's just really hard to justify that after months of waiting for a stimulus bill that anything is really going to be enough in the long term to make up for it. That's kind of my opinion, but again, we're going day by day here. I'm going for the day by day price action. With the SPY gapping up so much pre-market, there probably will be some more momentum in penny stock land today. I can't, I still can't really get a feel for OTC stocks. You know, we have LTNC right now gapping up to new highs. Uh, that's, that's some momentum for sure. Uh, I think we saw R, RDAR, I think that had news. Um, other than that though, I don't see a whole lot I love on watch for, you know, OTC breakouts. The OTC market is so cyclical, like extremely cyclical. Normally it heats up maybe once a year for a month and then it's kind of done. We've had a hot OTC market for like four months, um, like a really hot OTC market for like four months. So if it does start to die off, learn to adapt because that is okay and it's normal. It will come back at some point, but we've been on a very, very, very long hot streak. Um, so for me, the focus is probably going to still be listed throughout the rest of the week and into the in the next week hit OTCs when they're there. Um, but I just don't want to get stuck in something that's illiquid and not moving well for me personally. And that's kind of going to be my goal going forward in the week, knowing that this uh, S and P the spy news is kind of weak. Uh, jo- I think I also read that Johnson Johnson is like working on moving towards their vaccine or almost done with it, but. For me, this news is pretty weak, but again, I'll use it as intraday momentum if there are going to be opportunities. And that is your Monday's edition of Steady Trade Treats all wrapped up. And uh, yeah, let's get after it, guys. Let's have a great start to the week, and I'll catch you then. Sayonara. Sayonara.